Hey guys, it's Stringray again. This will be a rather simple video where we shall look at the various landing craft available to the players and most importantly at what they can do apart from the obvious and needless demonstration of one's capability to buy skins. Ah, those shameless fashion frame fanatics. There is a grand total of four landing craft available to the players, uh, which are the set, Mantis, Scimitar, and Xiphos, given in the order of increasing difficulty to acquire. All players start with this set already unlocked, and each of the other types unlockable immediately by paying a one-time fee of 150 platinum. Well, you can see it right here because I already have them, but it should be there. For those who do not want to use platinum for that, or consider a price a bit over the top, there is a possibility to craft them uh, using a set of blueprints, which can be purchased from the market for 35,000 credits each. See. The component blueprints differ widely in rarity and acquisition methods. Mantis components drop from extremely rare reinforced containers found in missions. Skimitar drops from invader type enemies such as Stalker, Zanuka, and Grass Track 3. And Xiphos has an insanely low chance of dropping from sabotage caches on different planets. There is also a capability to trade these blueprints on market, easy as that. Before we can use the abilities of our landing craft or make their parts, we need to obtain the landing craft foundry segment for the orbiter. Again, same as before. You can, you can get it instantly by paying 175 platinum or by a lengthy crafting process after copying the blueprint from your clan's dojo. So, let's say we already have our desired landing craft. What's next? Simple. We craft the air support charges consumable, which every player gets for free upon starting the game, and equip it in our gear rail. Make sure it's not somewhere too far, I'll explain that later, so preferably put it on the hotkey. And now, let's see what our landing craft can actually do. Mantis. I decided to start with this one, as it is fairly simple. Using air support on Mantis deploys a healing pulse like this, which can be used 25 times to restore 100 hit points each time. In my opinion, it's pretty pointless. Large Squad Health Restore, which I also have on Hotkey, restores 300 health in 4 pulses and doesn't have a 10 minute cooldown like every other air support ability. See, it's blocked for 9 minutes. Skimitar. Fairly simple tool. Calling air support summons your landing craft to carpet bomb enemies around. For some damage, I presume? So let's test it. Here's excavation mission with infested. They have to get close to the excavator to hit it, so this should be a very good test bench for what we're about to do. Okay, they are hitting the extractor. Uh, see, they are not dead. Vicky says they are hit for 250 impact damage, but we didn't get even that. Will you leave me alone for one second? Sorry. So, Vicky says there should be 250 damage, but we didn't see even that. I personally saw 99 damage. And that's it. Now it's on 10 minute cooldown. I can see how that can be useful on lower levels, but... Well, you understand. Xiphos. Now that one is interesting. The description says that you can deploy a stationary turret. Okay, I can see how we could use that on defense. So, let's deploy it and see what it does. But do not, however, don't deploy it like I do. For one reason. The grenades thrown at the defending object uh, 
will damage the turret. So you should probably deploy it somewhere here or, well, in any different area, as long as it doesn't get damaged by grenades. It's not a priority target, well, most of the time. Uh, so, first of all, the enemies will try to hit the defending objects, and only then the, the sentry gun. It has a fixed level 30, and it can be healed. Well, let's, let, let, let's test it. See, squad ammo health, squad, squad health restore did nothing there. Not ammo, why would I say ammo? Well, that's all there is to it. It can get past level 30, and it won't restore hit points. So, see, it gets dead fairly quickly if it gets focused, so don't deploy it in obvious places. Deploy it somewhere where it won't get shot at. And, of course, our 10 minute cooldown is still true for this. You can deploy as many as you like, only limited by the amount of air support charges you can bring in the mission. And, of course, the cooldown. You can uh, deploy about 6 in an hour. Seems, well, seems decent compared to uh, every other ability. Oh, just leave me alone, will you? Okay? Thank you. Okay, let's move on. Listen. The last one on our list, for a reason too. The ability is Security Override, which delays the countdown timers on rescue and spy missions for extra 5 seconds, and unlike ciphers, is still usable on sorties. More about that in the next video. So let's have a look at it. Oh my god, I'm so loud and obviously going to save the prisoner. So they should turn on the alarms and start execution sequence. Okay, see time limit. Well, my dear, not so fast. See the timer paused. I can say I can just easily go ahead and try to save the prisoner with extra time. What do you think of it? It's much greater than 5 seconds time that I thought of. And there we go. This extra time can sometimes prove crucial, but make sure that you don't search your gear wheel for it for same or greater amount of time. Uh, or it kinda beats the whole purpose of deploying the air support. Unless you do it for someone else, of course. More about that in the upcoming video on Spy Etiquette, which is in development plans already. One other use for air support is in blocking locked doors. Especially if you are too lazy to hack consoles yourself or don't have one nearby. Let's see how it goes. See, I didn't even have to hack the console. There was at least one confirmed case of that helping unblock locked doors after a bugged host migration too. So keep that in mind. And there you go! It's pretty obvious which one of these I consider the best overall, but still it's up to you to get what you want. Be it looks, function or a bit of both. Tell me what you think or just leave feedback by commenting on the video and let me know what you think of my efforts by hitting that like or dislike buttons. Swazdala!